little game is called Spot the Difference. Okay, now look at this photo of Paul McCartney post-1966. Have you noticed anything different in the two Pauls yet? I will give you a minute to look at this photo and I will jump up to the 1964 photo to refresh your memory. A face is like a finger print. Every person is completely original, even twins have differences. Now let me zoom in on one particular feature for you to have a close look at. Paul McCartney prior to 1966 has ear lobes. If you were born with ear lobes, you have them for life. The only change is that they grow with age. So let's look at Paul post 1966 and if you think these two people are the same, then you are really shutting yourself off from reality. Nobody's ear lobes change from hanging to fixed in one year, it is impossible. Looks like he had surgery there. Even the ear shapes are different. The post Paul McCartney with no ear lobes, also has moles on his face to the left of his nose. I am showing this to you in case you tell me this is just a Paul double and not the real Paul McCartney, because in the later 80s photo, he still has them. The original Paul McCartney was blemish free. Part one.